Welcome to the home of the boisterous Burtons. Obviously, as you can see right here, we got the fridge to start with. Here's the AC unit. We got storage, cabinets. Here is the bathroom. As you can see, it's got the shower, it's a wet bath, it's got the vent fan, and this is a cassette toilet. And we swing around here. Here's the sink and the countertop. Um, we elected not to put a stove in. Um, we just have an Instapot. Um, Ashley seems to really like using the Instapot. It seems to work out really well for us. And then we just added some shelves. Uh, we haven't painted them yet, as you can see. And then some cabinets. And spinning around, there's just more storage. And then that's kind of where we store like all of our clothes and things like that. And then you can see in the very back where we've got the closet. Obviously this is the bed area. Spin around a little bit more here. There's just more clothes storage. Um, and then the other window and you've got just another cabinet for dishes and whatnot. And then as you can see here, we've got just a full length mirror. And then this is a, uh, the control panel. It's got the voltage and then of course all the switches for the lights. And then up there, you've just got more storage and you're back around to the AC unit. And then of course, since I do work remote, here is my workstation, I guess you would call it. It's a little tight, but it works. Um, and then underneath this bench, we'll show you, we've got um, all the battery. Um, it's a 75 gallon fresh water tank. Everything's up underneath here for that, which we'll show you. And then if you swing around here to the bottom underneath the sink, here's the hot water heater. We just went with a 120 volt water, hot water heater. And then of course there's our gray tank. So everything's indoors for us. So we don't have to worry about any kind of freezing or anything like that in the winter, since we do full time in the camper. Got anything you don't wanna add? No, I don't think so, but let's show them the desk. So this desk used to be like a regular desk. Let me show them down here. Mm -hmm. And this part used to sit like on legs that folded out, but he took it off the legs and fastened it to our bench here so it's pretty cool so you just lift it up with the bench whenever we need to get under there it definitely helps us save space as you can see i mean there's the the door right here and then of course you come around and here's the the desk so we don't have a whole lot of space so that definitely helped and it can fold back over itself if uh need be if we need more room in here or if i'm not working or something like that but and we'll all right, guys, let's uh, flip, um, flip it around here, um, and I'll take you guys outside so you can see the um, outside compartment door. It's where we've got the electrical connection to hook up to shore power or anything like that. And then, of course, we've got the, uh, the gray tanks in there so we can dump it since we don't have a black tank, uh, since all we've got is a cassette toilet. So this is where the, the black or the gray tank dump is. Let me flip around here, and I'll show you guys. All right, Nash is going to open up the side compartment door here, show us what we got. Um, so if you take a look here, it's nothing too spectacular. Obviously, we've got the freshwater tanks here. Uh, it's a 75 gallon freshwater tank. And then this here, you can't really see it with the camera. It's kind of wedged up in here. But this is a, a 40 gallon gray tank. Um, and then, of course, we've got our dump right here. You can see the lever and everything. So everything is indoors. Uh, we just really got to watch it whenever we're dumping the gray uh, just to make sure that we don't spill any in inside. Because as you can see, I mean, it's all indoors. So it is nice uh, during the winter since we full time. We don't have to worry about anything freezing up or anything like that. But at the same same time, we have to deal with uh, if anything spills, you're kind of indoors there. But luckily it is just gray. Uh, and then over here, as you can see, we've got a water pump. And if I've got to work on anything at night or dump it at night, there's a light up here. Um, and then here's an outside spigot in case we've got to wash anything off, if anything's muddy or anything like that. And coming up to the side of the camper here, we have the, here's the water fill for fresh water. And then here's our uh, hookup for shore power right here is a hookup for shore power. So that's about it. And we'll show you guys the electrical system. All right, guys, um, so let me come back around here, walk around, back around the camper, and I will take you over 
or back inside and we'll flip up the bench um, remove the stuff off the desk and things like that so we don't flip over the computer but we'll get it flipped over and uh, I'll flip this thing around here and we'll show you the electrical system all right guys so for our electrical system Ashley's holding it up for us right now as you come back down and see I have a normal house breaker box here um, I think it's got eight circuits in it. I'm going to light down here for you guys. Just open it up. So it's got eight circuits total. I think we have one extra, if I remember right. I ran 20 amp circuits for each of the outlets. Um, close that up. Here we have a um, DC to DC charger. Um, I think this is a 40 amp. Yeah, it looks like it says 40 amp there from Renogy. Uh, that's where the truck hooks in and can charge our uh, 300 amp hour uh, ampere time lithium ion battery um, so whenever the truck's running or <clears throat> driving we can charge the battery from the truck's alternator and then this is our solar charger uh, it's a 60 amp solar charger we don't have solar panels yet uh, that will definitely be something in the future uh, but it is wired for solar and we have the box on the roof with all the wiring going through the walls <clears throat> and then here's the main power plant which is a uh, a Renogy um, 3500 watt smart charger. Um, we have been uh, extremely happy with it so far. Uh, the goal is to hopefully, as you can see this battery with the wires here, there's the fuses for the uh, 12 volt stuff. Um, the goal is to expand to possibly another 300 amp hour battery, just because we did run so much on the camper off of 120 volts. Um, if we, to do it over again, I think we would do, use more 12 volt stuff like a fridge and stuff like that and a hot water heater, but it, it has served its purpose and done pretty well. We just uh, have to charge it back up with the generator. Uh, whenever we get some solar and we run it off of that solar charger there, hopefully that should help us out quite a bit, but this is what we got. And that's about all of it. And then over here, you can see that's where the 75 gallon fresh water tank is, is right there. So. Definitely smart on our part to uh, put 75 gallons of water next to our electrical system, but <laughs> that's about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed following along with us as we built the camper. And uh, thanks for watching, like she said, and um, stay tuned. We definitely got some exciting things coming up, but thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.